In this lesson, we're going to talk about how the MongoS router does the job of routing queries across your sharded cluster. So the MongoS is the principal interface point for your client applications. All queries must be directed to the MongoS. So here we have a find operation against the products collection, looking for this document where the name is how to Mongo. The first thing that the MongoS does is determine the list of shards that must receive the query. Depending on the query predicate, the MongoS either targets every shard in the cluster or a subset of shards in the cluster. If the query predicate includes the shard key, then the MongoS can specifically target only those shards that contain the shard key value or values specified in the query predicate. These targeted queries are very efficient. If the query predicate does not include the shard key, or is generally very wide in scope, such as a ranged query that spans multiple or all shards, then the MongoS has to target every shard in the cluster. These scatter-gather operations can be slow, depending on factors such as the number of shards in your cluster. We're going to go into more detail on targeted versus scatter-gather queries, as well as how the MongoS knows who to target in the next lesson. Whether we're doing targeted or scatter-gather queries, the MongoS opens a cursor against each of the targeted shards. Each cursor executes the query predicate and returns any data returned by the query for that shard. The MongoS now has the results from each targeted shard. The MongoS merges all of the results together to form the total set of documents that fulfills this query and then returns that set of documents to the client application. The MongoS also has specific behavior when it comes to cursor operators such as sort, limit, and skip. For queries where you specify a sort, the MongoS pushes the sort down to each shard in the cluster and then performs a merge sort of the results. With limit, the MongoS pushes the limit down to each shard in the cluster and then reapplies that limit after merging the returned results. With skip, the MongoS performs the skipping on the merged set of results and doesn't push anything down to the shard level. If you're using aggregation, there's more specific behavior depending on the pipeline you've created. Now that is out of scope for this lesson, so please take a look at the documentation linked below for a more complete discussion of how MongoS handles routing aggregation queries. To recap, the MongoS handles all queries in a sharded cluster. For any given query, it builds a list of shards to target the query to and merges the results. It can also handle query modifiers such as sort, limit, and skip.